Hi, this is Johan Hegg from Armin Marth, and you are watching Loudwire. <laughs> Hey everyone, Guru Hamid here for Loudwire, and I'm here with Johan from Amana Marth. Thank you so much for coming, man. Hey, my pleasure, man. Appreciate your time. This is Wikipedia Fact or Fiction. All right. I scoured awesome. through your, your guys' Wikipedia page, albums, the bands, everything like that, so you can prove or disprove what's on there and elaborate if you so choose. All right. All right. Uh, it says that, first off, Amana Marth emerged from a grindcore band called Scum. It's true. I'm not sure if it was grindcore. Okay, uh, maybe not grindcore. Yeah, so but much. yeah, yeah. It's it's uh, it was a death metal band from from uh, that uh, Olavi Mikunen had with a bunch of other guys. Uh, um, among them, my best friend of the time. And uh, yeah, so that's yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> it it kind of got mean to scum on. Uh, Wikipedia for some reason it said scum made no impression upon the Stockholm metal scene but then you replaced a uh, scum singer and it was your imposing stature and Thor like growl that began to shape the image and the sound of a monomart that's a huge exaggeration <laughs> <laughs> okay so what what really happened well the thing I, I mean the Stockholm scene was kind of complex because uh, where we were was kind of outside, like southern suburbs, kind of far outside. Okay. So uh, the connection to a lot of the a lot of the other bands in the Stockholm scene was not great. But Scum did do some shows around. Some the people did. Yeah, yeah. Them. But it was, I mean, it was a demo band, you know. Yeah, yeah. And they did, they only like were around for three years until it became Alan and Marth, basically. So. Right. Um, and only released one demo tape, um, but. The, the fact is that they kind of split up in 1991 and uh, uh, then I joined the band because, uh, well, I was on a vacation with Olavi and uh, Vesa, who was my best friend, and the, mm -hmm. uh, the guitar player was gone. And I asked them if they, sh if they should put the band back together. And uh, they said, well, we don't have a singer. And I said, I could try out. And really? that's, okay. that's kind of how it got together, you know, how we, how we, how we did it. And, um, so, but it, I mean, it, it wasn't exactly my my bleak attempt at growling that brought the band forward. I think I think you have to blame Ollie on that, okay, <laughs> right? Yeah, he he's always been kind of the driving force behind the band. So, without Ollie in the band, I don't think we would be where we are today. It says the first demo, Thor Arise, was raw and uneven in sound and execution, and it was never officially released due to low standards. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's true. We, uh, yeah. we were not really happy with how the songs or the, the recording itself turned out, so we decided not to release it and just start over, basically, and yeah. write, write complete new stuff. Was there anything in particular that was... Was it the production aspect? Was it, your, like, you guys' performances? You thought I you could get more out of it? I think it was pretty much everything. <laughs> I, think, okay. I think, first of all, we bit off a little bit too much, uh, too much for a three-day recording for a... That's really, that's such a short amount of time. Yeah, for, for an inexperienced de demo band, that was not a lot of time. And we, I think we tried to record like five songs. That's still a lot, really. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so we, I think we kind of, you know, took on too much. So the, the next demo we did, we, uh, we just did three songs instead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Avenged. Uh, Amon Amarth feared consumers and press would view the album as unoriginal or a ripoff of Hammerfall. That's, I think that's that, the fiction response. That's that's really strange. First yep. of all, it's the Avenger. Oh, it yeah. said the Avenged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so oh. if it says the Avenged, I don't know. But the, no, I, 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 that sounds really that sounds really that strange. That's just wrong. <laughs> I mean, rip off of Hammerfall, obviously not. You know, it's like no. totally not the same music at all. I think at the time, we, I don't know. You know how sometimes, I, th I think we were kind of childish and jealous about their success, and we thought they didn't deserve it. But oh. well, you know, that's that was just bullshit. <laughs> and we kind of wrote a joke song about them on on the uh, on the album and just. Being complete dicks, you know. Oh, Seriously, were they dicks? yeah, yeah. We were, we were assholes, you know, with low self-esteem. I guess <laughs> I don't know, but we were being dicks about it, you know. And, and uh, we kind of talked talked to the guys in Hammerfall about it and kind of settled everything. And 
they're the cool guys. And okay, you know, you know, it's it's uh, it's one of the thing, one of those things where you kind of at some point have to grow up and realize that the world is not about you, right? <laughs> With Odin on our side, the background depicts the Volgnut, a symbol of which its meaning is uncertain. Uh, though archaeological evidence clearly shows it to be associated with Odin. That's true. Uh, it, is, it is a symbol of Odin. Okay. Uh, exactly in what sense, I, I'm not really sure, actually. Okay. But it, it is a symbol of Odin, so that's why we chose it to but have there's it a bit of mystery as to its It's a little bit history. of mystery. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm th th I think, I think it, it's a symbol of eternity and power, but I'm not... I'm not a hundred percent certain, so I should probably stop talking. <laughs> <about>. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you're right. gonna, you're gonna have that on Wikipedia. It's like, uh, and it's yeah, even more if, fiction. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it means whatever you want. Yeah, to exactly. Mean. Yeah. Uh, Twilight of the Thunder God. It's based on Thor's slaying of the serpent, Jormungandr. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's How right. do I pronounce that properly? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Jormungandr. Yeah, okay, I was close though. Yeah, it's not, not far off. All right. What was it about that story that inspired you to write a full album? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a song, really. You know, the song oh, is okay. about that. Yeah, Twilight the, the song. song yeah, and the then, album. And okay, gotcha. Yeah, but it, yeah, it, it's um, it's one of the most like important parts of the the of Ragnarok, which is the end of the world in Northern mythology. Okay. Uh, where Odin uh, fights the big like wolf called Fenris. And Thor fights uh, Jormungandr, mm -hmm. which is the world serpent, the serpent that circles the earth. Oh, okay. It's 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 that it's too far. It takes too long to explain. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So so this is about his fight, and in that fight he kills a serpent, but he himself dies as well. Uh, it said that a monomarth played its first show in India in December two thousand nine. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. Sounds about right, yeah, Bangalore. Yeah, yeah, Bangalore, the yeah. Deccan Rock Festival. Yeah. That's got to be amazing to go so far away. It was, it, was, uh, it was an experience. Yeah. Yeah. Very few bands get to play in India. Like, what were the fans like there? I amazing. Was, they yeah. seem super appreciative of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, seriously, there's so many uh, metalheads in India. I, I, I didn't believe there, there to be that. But, Huge. I mean, it was a small festival, but it was about 5,000 people there, you know. Amazing. Beautiful. Great, great show. I mean, given that the stage was like, like corrugated, like you know. Uh, yeah, you can't expect <laughs> steel the best and, stages yeah, necessarily. Like bamboo and stuff like that. <laughs> you know, that's all right. All it was, right. It was good. It was fun, man. And, and it held crowd, up. Crowd, crowd had a great time. We had a great time. You know. Awesome. It's a, it was an interesting country to visit as well. Did you get to do much sightseeing? A little bit. Yeah, little? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Saw awesome. saw some pretty cool stuff. Cows in the street and all that. Yes, lots yeah, of them. Families on, on like a five on one scooter. Uh, last one. It says you and the band have never liked the term Viking metal to describe your music. Um, it's kind of a, something that kind of got, I think, misinterpreted. It's okay. kind of right, but it's slightly off. Because I, what I said was that I like, I, I think it's weird to describe music uh, in, in a term where, which, where the, the term for the music uh, or the term for the band is taken from the lyrics. Sure. So if, if, if you're going to describe a band uh, based on the lyrics, well then Led Zeppelin is Viking metal, Iron Maiden is Viking metal, Enslaved is Viking metal, you know. Every Tolkien influenced yeah, band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like, I, I, th I thought that was kind of weird. I, I don't really dislike it, I guess, I guess it's kind of it's kind of cool, but you know, for for someone who likes Enslaved, and go like, oh, I'm gonna Marth, also Viking metal. Oh, great, right? And then maybe they're more into black metal than you know. That's true. You, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Viking metals. But uh, it's it, I, it doesn't bother me that much. It's yeah. just I, I just thought it was weird. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting hey. down with me playing our Thank game. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Yom's Viking, pick yeah. it up, a Marth, Johan.